Hello, this is Movie Reviews by JT, and I got another review for you, The Tomorrow's War, which stars Chris Pratt. This movie was supposed to went to theaters last year, but it got delayed. It starts all it wound up getting bought by Amazon. It started the movie start screaming on Amazon Prime on Friday, and I had an early screener of the film. And stuff. This movie is about a group of present day soldiers who are sent into the future to fight an alien army. And stop. In December 2022, biology teacher and Iraq war veteran Darren Foster failed to get a job at a research center while watching the World Cup at a Christmas party. Soldiers from the year 2051 won their humanity and on a break of extension due to alien and invaders, the white spikes, and the sponsored members of the world military that are sent into the future, but less than 20 survive entering a worldwide draft. After a year of the draft going anti war movement, there's little hope about humanity survival. Dan received a notice that he had been drafted that failed to comply with results and his wife being sent into sent in his place after saying goodbye to his training. Dan reports with other drafting and basic training. The, the draftees are t told if they could survive a week, they will be automatically returned to 2023. The drafters are sent forward to in time to Miami Beach, but few survive. The drafters are ordered by Colonel Ford. Colonel Forster to rescue nearby lab personnel before the area is sterilized. It's stuff the draft to discover the lab personnel personnel dead, but a couple of the research. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so they go in the future in Miami, you see the city being destroyed. You see these creatures, white creatures and stuff, killing everybody, eating people. Dan Foster and some of the other people. You also got Sam Richardson in here too. They stop. And then we then start just watching them and where we went in the other day. So you also had Edwin Hyde, the guy from the Purge movie, he was also in here too. He was kind of like a dick in this movie. And stop, yeah. So they go to this research they're trying to find something. You see these creatures trying to kill and shooting them and stuff and everything. And some of the other people, you see Colonel Foster, the woman, and stuff, sent, having people in the Air Force sending bombs, destroying creatures. And stuff. Some people had died and wound on. Uh, some of them survived. Chris Pratt, which is his character, and Evan Hawk. And so they in on um, Dominican Republic. That's a place to study. He was in the bed and stuff. He, he was talking to Colonel Forster and stuff. And he was asking him at the same last name. He actually find out that's actually his daughter who is now all grown up and stuff. She's a, a colonel in the military. So she did research stuff too, like him and everything and stuff. And then they go together and they capture the queen and stuff in this underground cave thing and stuff. She was past her other um, creatures and stuff and everything. So they got the queen locked up in the um in this um cage thing, took her took her back to the thing and stuff, do research on her, sedate her and everything and stuff. And stuff. This movie was great. I actually liked it, this movie and stuff. It also um had J.K. Simmons and he playing Chris Pratt's characters um dad who's never was around and everything and stuff. He fixed on planes and stuff and everything. And um yeah, a lot of people are dying and stuff. And they actually the door actually figure out a toxin and stuff that she wanted her fire to go back and start send go back and to take a use it to stop the creatures. Or come in, stop the creatures from terrorizing the earth in, in the present day, in the past. Stop. So he went back, trying to save his daughter, daughter from the future, but she wound up dying because of the creatures came and attacked the place, the water headquarter thing, is that, and everything. And stop, got sent back, had to toss it, telling his wife that, and stuff, that he um, saw their daughter, she grown in the future. See his daughter when she's nine years old and present in the past and stuff. So he went um talked to Evan Hodge character who's in a bar drinking, telling him about that he wanted to save his daughter and, and trying to figure out how to stop the creature. Talk to Sam Richardson's character, look at this thing. So he went to talk to this boy and he started talking about volcanoes and stuff and find out the creatures actually was there the entire whole time. 
So they went to this area, like somewhere, like China somewhere, Russia area, it was frozen cold, found out where they was at in the spaceship, used some of the toxic things to stick on and to kill them and stuff and everything, so they won't try to touch. The queen got out, some of the other ones got out, they started to figure out how to stop. And stop. I actually liked this movie so much, and so I had that Terminator vibe to it, and so I also had I Mean the Dead kind of vibe to it too a little bit, with the city being destroyed and everything as well. And so I the Chris Pratt performance was great, Sam Richardson's performance was great as well, and stuff and everything, so... I give uh, the Tamal War an 8 out of 8. Great movie. Liked it. I wish this movie was in theaters, though. It would have been nice seeing all those special effects stuff in theaters on an IMAX screen, though. Everything. So, yeah. So, that's my review for the Tamal World War. That's my review for the Tamal's War. All right, bye.